you talked about it a little bit, Brooklyn. Talk about the Brooklyn experience for you. Brooklyn was a big step in D'Angelo Russell's career. Hell yeah, bro. Talk about that when you I got mean, traded there. You didn't get traded. You got traded. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's just the it goes back to like the group of guys we had, bro. Mm-hmm. I always talk about that. Like that's the reason, another reason I'm even here again. Like mm. you experienced one of my best times, best moments, best years in the league. And I was there and we came from where we came from. So mm-hmm. for you to ask me for anything, bro, I'm there because I know where we come from. So mm-hmm. that's what it was. Like I, I just remember connecting with so many different dudes on that team. Like I felt like a quarterback. And I had a relationship with every player on our team, and then it led to our success. And then, it, like I said, like that shit wasn't even supposed to happen. Mm-mm. Like Spence and Karras was holding it down. Like I wasn't supposed to be me, mm-hmm. yeah. but I was so connected with everybody. When I became me, mm-hmm. it kind of like it was like, bro, like we we support that. Like yeah. that's, that's that's lit. Yeah. And I felt that, and it just made me want to keep going. Like yeah. my first year, I got hurt, but the second year, I was ready. I think that was one of the most connected, but like unego team I ever had mm-hmm. in my life. Talk more about that because I think shit. Everybody was on one year deals. Yeah, it's important. <laughs> how important is it for like but being connected and team chemistry and stuff? But listen, to what he just said. <laughs> Everybody was on that don't one work. year deals. Usually, that's like that's like. That's, like, that's a recipe for disaster. Yeah, that's yeah. like senior lost his spot to the freshman. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm about everybody trying to go. Yeah, everybody's trying to go get for sure. That's a recipe to, for disaster. Yeah. To have a group of guys that's on one year deals, you would have never known it. That's crazy. For sure. Everybody got paid after that. No. Oh. Everybody. And it wasn't, and it was just all Gene would do. Karis Levert. Pure. Unbelievable dude. Bro. Pure. Show. Sure. Jared Allen. Unbelievable. D Low. Sure. Jared Dudley, Ed Davis. Ed Davis will go down as top three <laughs> uh, that I've ever had. Jared Dudley, top two. Yeah, Everybody top say two. that. Shit, bro. Like, we had some guys and we made the fucking playoffs. Not AC, seven C. Come on. <laughs> we wouldn't even Slick was going to be six. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. We Slick was about to be six. We was about to be six. Yeah, and crazy. then we had Philly. Definitely. Definitely. Had them. Bro, I always say, bro, we were, they we were emphasizing. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they getting it, boy. They was emphasizing the, the fucking rap on the ball screen. Like, if you come off as a guard, you get screened in the big roles and you mm-hmm. can't rap them or try to get back. So they were emphasizing it. And I remember Jared Allen rolling and I hit him on the roll and they rapped him on the screen and we lost the ball turnover for the game. And that was the last game. And I was just like, bro. That shit made me so sick, bro. Like, I bet. It was a clear foul. I watched that play. I remember I was just like, let me see that play. Show me the play. I turned it over, but I was like, that's a fucking foul. Like, I was pissed. Never rewatched those games. But that team, though, I just remember like, this is how you win in the league. It's going to be good nights, bad nights, overtime losses, overtime wins, adversity, ups, downs, in between, whatever. Coach get fired, coach get hired, GM get fired. GM, assistant GM, take the play. All this fuckery going to happen. If you and the homies on the court and y'all got that lobby off the floor on that Call of Duty, y'all going to y'all going <laughs> to. Y'all got that lobby, right? It's going to be a good time. Good it's going to be a good time. And you're going to get through those because there's always going to be a rough patch. Yeah, for sure. Always going to be a rough patch. But like, it didn't, like, we'll lose a game and we'll be like, all right, we got, and it's not, you can say it like that, but it's not like, we didn't give a fuck about it. Yeah. Because Karis watching film on the plane. d will get film on the plane. Y'all will ask JD, what you think about this? It's 10 niggas on the plane looking at the film. Like. Looking at the film and we looking at it, but still we're like, okay, bet. Close the plane, close the thing. And then we just talking about other shit. Yeah. Then we go to the next game. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it was crazy, bro. Then we went at Philly. We had a first game. We won the first game. Joe oh, Harris was, was hooping. Uh, you know what's crazy is, you seen the new little thing coming out about the Clippers behind the scenes yeah. all that? Our season could be a whole story. Like if we pitched the idea to like HBO, Netflix or some random shit and we pitched the blueprint. We better pitch it to Title League. We about to do it. <laughs> you know what <laughs> I mean? It. Like yeah. if we just pitched it and got people to like participate and like show face in it, talk about it, get Kitty back on, mm-hmm. like all these dudes. 
get it, like all these dudes, like it, like kind of do it like the uh, the uh, last dance type of vibe, just yeah. something like that, on a smaller scale. Yeah, that shit would sell, bro. One thousand percent. Because people Everybody still talk it. about that shit. Every, still to this day talk about that. That's, That's crazy. It was a good time though, bro. Like it was, it was a time where you, Karis, Jared, Joe, shit, we need to talk about fucking Joe. Joe Harris. Joe, Joe Harris, Harris, Spencer. Like y'all took off to where y'all are today and I'm just, couldn't be more happier for guys because y'all were just genuine dudes. Situation. And, and it was just, y'all all got paid up then y'all still out there playing at a high level. Thanks. But then after that, like situations happen, life happens. Listen, Kyrie, Kevin Durant come to Brooklyn. Yeah. The thing is, D'Angelo Russell is a realist. If Kevin Durant says he wants to come to Brooklyn, what the fuck is going to happen? He's going to come to Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> He's going to come to Brooklyn. Definitely. But guess what? I got to get my bag too, brother. Definitely. Got his bag. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Life can get very busy. With work, with kids, you have to make sure you stay happy. In those situations, you always want to make sure you don't neglect yourself. And if you find yourself not having enough time to take care of yourself, therapy is a good way to go. As you guys know, I've used therapy in the past. And it's not only for trauma, it's for organizing your thoughts and just finding the best version of yourself. And just simply talking to someone can help you out tremendously. If you're thinking about trying therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's completely online and it's designed to fit your busy schedule. All you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire and you'll get matched with a licensed therapist. And if you want to switch, there's no additional charge. Never skip a therapy day. Go to betterhelp.com slash race to get 10% off your first month. That is betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash race. 